Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're following up on the situation, my recent drama on Twitter, and I don't have a whole lot of drama usually, so this was kind of exciting for me, and I feel like I'm really becoming a Twitter trader now, getting more and more toxic. Each and every day. Uh, jokes aside, I do want to follow up on this situation and tell you guys about the $6,000 that I will be giving away. Because if you've kept up with the drama, um, someone called me out on Twitter saying that my trading results that I show periodically on my live streams, my videos, and on my Twitter uh, are fake. And so I said, they're not fake and I will show them to you. And, um, you know, I don't, I, I mentioned several times that I'm not chasing after your money. Obviously, who doesn't want money? But I mentioned like they're real. Uh, you know, if you really are insisting, I will show you my trading results. And um, I mentioned that if he does end up sending me the money, it will go to a good cause. And so today we're going to talk about that good cause that I'm really thrilled about. Let's just jump into this post that I made. So I mentioned that recently someone called me out for calling uh, my results fake. Um, and now I'm giving away $6,000. So I have a challenge for trading influencers and for the trading community as a whole that we're going to get into in this video. Again, I'm going to be giving away $6,000. Uh, and these are all the rules to my challenge. So someone on Twitter bet me six thousand that they would uh, that my results were not real, and that they challenged me to uh, join a Zoom call to prove the account was legitimate. And uh, again, if you haven't seen this video already, we'll leave it down below in the description for you so that you can uh, catch up to speed on the latest, you know, tea and drama and all that good stuff. Long story short, Scott was actually honorable enough uh, he uh, to to admit that he was wrong, and not only admit that he was wrong, but he followed through with his word. Here's a guy on Twitter, you know, I, I didn't expect highly of this, but huge props to Scott for this. He actually paid. He actually sent these $6,000 and he posted publicly his uh, his his payment. And I can, uh, I can assure you, he sent the money. I got the money on my end. So with that money, we're going to do something really cool about it. We agreed, Scott and I in our chat following him sending the money, that transparency in the industry, the trading industry, is severely lacking. So we came up with kind of a fun idea of how we could creatively give away the money and also hopefully get a good message across to the trading community. So with this $6,000, I'm challenging trading influencers to come forward and also show their trading performance. I wanna turn around with this money and encourage more trading influencers who are, you know, sharing their content, sharing and selling their course material uh, to, to the community, I wanna give them a chance to also prove their legitimacy. In return for showcasing uh, their, their performance, their track record, deserving and real traders uh, who can prove their performance will receive three things from me here. Number one, I'll give $1,000 to keep uh, for themselves, for their awesome accomplishment. First of all, if you have a trading influencer in mind already, I want you to send them this video. I highly recommend that you do that. I'm gonna talk more about that in just a second, but I'm gonna give $1,000 to any trading influencers who can pass my challenge that I'm sharing here. I will also give $1,000 of this collected money that I've received to that community's community, uh, I'm sorry, to that trader's community at random. So I'll give away $1,000 to, you know, trader XYZ who can prove that they are profitable. I'll give $1,000 away to their community. So you guys have a little bit of a task here. If you follow some other traders that you really like, call uh, call them to the test, bring them to the challenge. Now, uh, I'm not doing this in a toxic way. I'm not here to be like, oh, you know, if your person can't prove they're profitable, that they're a fake and a fraud and all that stuff. I'm, I'm not here to like spread drama. I'm just literally, I'm hoping that we can get some more real traders to, to do what I'm trying to uh, showcase here, which is show real profitability. And uh, more importantly to the trading community, this third one. If you can take and pass my challenge here, uh, which I'm gonna go over the rules in just a moment, you'll receive recognition as a transparent and remarkable trader and an interview uh, if you'd like, which I'll post up on my channel. So I think that would be fun to do just as a content thing, uh, but also for recognition and for legitimacy. I mean, if you can if you can show my challenges here um, that you've done them all or that you, you, you know, stand the test, uh, you deserve that recognition. It's a remarkable thing to be able to trade profitably. It's very, very, very difficult and rare. And what you'll see is not a lot of people will step forth to do this challenge. I can tell you already from the tweet here, 
not a bunch of people jumping forward, it's very difficult to prove your profitability. Everyone talks a big game, but when it's time to actually showcase broker statements, people go missing. I don't know what happens. Anyways, um, traders, I'm asking a favor of you guys, for you listening right now. If you follow somebody, if you've spent a lot of time watching somebody's videos, if you've invested hours of your life, of your precious time outside of work or career or family time or your free time, investing in learning from individuals on the internet, I would highly recommend that you suggest them to, or ask them to consider taking my challenge here. Uh, because again, it will offer reassurance to that person, that trader's uh, community, that they are also not wasting their time, right? You have to remember, um, here's the worst case scenario. There are people out there who fake their results. They use lifestyle type posts to entice people to think that they're, you know, a big shot. And in reality, everybody who's watching their content is watching somebody who is not actually a profitable trader is wasting the community's time and enriching that trading influencer who's faking it. To me, that is wrong. And in this challenge, what I'm trying to do is in a positive, not toxic or, you know, angrily way, I'm trying to encourage with positive, you know, reassurement uh, or, you know, um, positive reinforcement here. Uh, real traders to step forward and, and to, to mirror my, my approach to trying to be real about this stuff by doing the following challenge. So um, again, the community uh, of the influencer will be rewarded as well as the influencer receiving the cash bonus. And again, massive recognition to those people. Those are the rewards. Let's get into the challenges. So I posted all the challenges. By the way, this is all on my Twitter. You can find me at TraderNickFX. So rule number one, you need to be able to show two years of profitable trading on a regulated brokerage. Uh, unregulated brokerages, and I'll, and I'll explain my reasoning for each thing here. Unregulated brokerages can offer unfair advantages to influencers. So I have firsthand experience in this. Uh, when it comes to unregulated or sketchy offshore brokerages, there are several that have sent me emails or direct messages and trying to entice me to work with them with some shady stuff. In fact, I actually did a video about this. We'll pin it in the top right hand of the screen uh, about a trading brokerage that is well known. I'm not looking to get sued here, so I'm not gonna say the name, but it's an offshore brokerage that offered to give me a fake live account. So this stuff is really real. So when it comes to unregulated brokerages, if anybody shows you an unregulated brokerage, it may be real, but you have no way of knowing. Unregulated brokerages are just, to me, garbage in terms of trying to prove profitability. It needs to be a regulated brokerage within my challenge to show that it's a real, uh, you know, no funny business account, no manipulation, no fake live accounts, no MetaTrader 4 drama, none of that. Just regulated brokerages and some of the acceptable regulatory and licensing bodies include the following here on the screen. So let's go on to rule number two. It must be an actively traded account, no passive buy and hold stock or crypto investment accounts. Now here's the thing, there's nothing wrong with holding long-term positions. Uh, even as a trader, you know, I, I do some of that myself. But what I'm talking about here is, you know, if your portfolio is just, uh, you know, 100% Ethereum that you've held for three years, that's not really a trading account. That's something that you, you know, stuck money in the account and it, and it did really, really well, right? Equally, somebody could just have put all their money in Tesla a year and a half ago, held it, and then it's down like 50% or whatever. So my point is this, uh, it needs to be an actively traded account. You know, we need to see that you're actually placing trades, that you're involved actively in the market, not just a passive buy and hold uh, that you may or may not have just gotten lucky on. So rule number three is that the performance must exceed, and this is the hardest one, performance uh, must exceed the S&P 500's passive return over the same traded period. So if your account is two years old, compare your results to the S&Ps. And if you can go, if your, if your results are better than the S&P 500s, uh, you would pass this rule number three. Now, why do I say this is hard? Well, since uh, on my own performance, since I started my account, the S&P 500 is up about 100% from 2020. My own performance is about 170%. So with tremendous effort, I've got about a 70% additional uh, return in terms of percentage than the S&P 500. With everyday dedication, discipline, constantly busting it, that's how much it takes to 
be profitable and to beat the S&P. It's so hard. It's so, so difficult to beat the S&P 500 because the S&P 500 is a passive income, you know, or a passive investment that many traders uh, are struggle to beat. I mean, it's really difficult. Hedge funds can't beat this. So when you hear people talking about, oh, 2% a week is easy or 1% a day is easy, uh, again, step forward and show us because this is so much harder than it looks on paper to beat. The S&P 500's passive, you know, nine to 10% per year may not sound like a lot, but when you go through serious drawdowns or account blowups or things like that, you realize that, the S&P 500's average 9% buy and hold return is not actually that bad and very, very difficult to beat. Now, if you want to debate me on that, again, somebody can debate me by showing me their results. Some people will be able to do it, but 99.5%, let's call it, of traders cannot beat the S&P 500. Uh, it's incredibly difficult to do so. And there are certainly within my own trading periods, periods where I've underperformed the S&P 500. In fact, year to date, I think I'm about on par with the S&P because the S&P has done really, really well. So this last couple of years has been a really, uh, well, there's been some up years and some down years for the S&P 500. You know, 2022 was awful. It was down like nearly 30%. The NASDAQ was down like 37 or 38%. So there's been some ups and downs. So if you've been able to trade and beat the S&P in the last few years, it's been very impressive. Rule number four, you have to prove that you're actually depositing and or withdrawing from your account. So uh, let me just also add context here. You don't have to have been actively withdrawing from your account. If you're just depositing and building an account, I can respect that. You don't need to be withdrawing from the accounts per se, but at least I would like to see, you know, like banking, uh, you know, um, showcasing just that you're actually, you know, show me the deposit that it's a real account. It's just another uh, validity thing. Okay, number five, it's a little controversial, but hear me out. Uh, rule number five is that prop firm payouts absolutely do not count as a track record. They do not count as a way of proving profitability in any capacity. Anyone can have a good month and post a payout and then blow it the next month. You know, even if you just randomly took trades, technically, if you took enough challenges, randomly, you could theoretically pass challenges and get a payout, screenshot it, put it on Twitter and make yourself look like a hero. That doesn't tell anyone anything. Additionally, some of the more sketchy, just like on un, uh, unregulated brokerages, like all prop firms are about the same tier list as unregulated brokerages. They don't have any oversight or jurisdiction, you know, no regulatory bodies involvement that hasn't really made its way fully into the prop firm space. It seems to be starting and that's why we've seen a couple of prop firms blow up and go away. Like for example, what we saw in 2023 with uh, my Forex funds, you know, you want to be careful that uh, you don't overhype or overestimate how trustworthy prop firms are simply because there's no oversight or no 100%, you know, regulation like there might be with US regulated brokerages. Not only that, some of the more sketchy prop firms have actually been caught assisting influencers in falsifying or photoshopping their payouts. So when you see payouts on Twitter and stuff like that, just be careful because, um, you know, it's very easy to Photoshop. It's very easy to fake stuff. Um, and again, if a, if a prop firm wants to make a lot of sales, one of the easiest things they could do is there's an incentive to help influencers to fake things or to uh, give them unfair advantages, etc. And I just want to reiterate, this is nothing against the prop trading industry at, at all. Like there are legitimate prop firms, there are legitimate, you know, companies in this industry. I'm just saying that payouts are 0% helpful in displaying uh, whether or not someone is a legitimate trader. Okay, rule number six, another, another controversial. This is just a controversial video at this point. Rule number six is that results cannot be shown using MetaTrader 4 or 5. Uh, MetaTrader 4 and 5 uh, is an open source platform. You can manipulate and create your own servers. You can fake results very easily. You can change everything. You can fake deposits, withdrawals, P&L, um, account balance, equity, you can, you can fake the whole thing. It's, it's not a very trustworthy, uh, you know, thing when somebody shows you a meta trader. In fact, if somebody shows you a meta trader as results, hundred percent worthless, it's, it's not a, not a valid way at all to show profitability. Again, I, I want to reiterate here. This is nothing against meta quotes, the company or their software. Um, their software is remarkable. It's very, very good. Uh, the only thing is that people with the ability to have some sort of back end and open sourceness about this, um, 
it can be used and, and abused by people trying to fake their results. Uh, again, I've got another video here on this topic. We'll put it in the top right hand of the screen if you wanna see how traders can technically fake results using MetaTrader. Rule number seven is that acceptable forms of track record are my FX book with a regulated brokerage, uh, broker statements, or clicking through on a Zoom call, uh, a regulated brokerages trading platform, um, so some examples would be Thinkorswim, Weevil, Tasty Trade, uh, Interactive Brokers, TradingView login directly, etc. These are passable things. Rule number eight, you must be willing to record during the process of going through the account uh, and discuss your results for the community. So we'll treat this as kind of like an interview and we can showcase your, your skills uh, if you have them. So none of your personal data also, of course, would be shown or we'd blur anything out that's not you know, uh, safe for the public to see. And just to reiterate the reward, uh, it's $1,000 for the influencer, $1,000 for the influencer's community, which we're doing a giveaway randomly. So we'll just give money away to that person's community. And I will dedicate a video showcasing your legitimacy, legitimacy uh, through an interview just a, or a call. If It's totally optional. If you don't want to do that, by all means, we don't have to. But uh, I just figured that would be cool uh, to have a video dedicated to any legitimate traders who can pass these rules that I've gone through. And also the last thing is that I'm going to be doing this with the $6,000 that I received for, uh, again, passing this challenge with someone else. Uh, so I'm using that money to, to fund this giveaway opportunity. Uh, I'll be doing it up to three times and it's a first come first serve. I hope somebody will take my challenge. I would be thrilled to pay uh, both the trader and their community if they can prove their legitimacy. So as we close out this video, I just want to ask a favor from the community. Please share this with your traders who have you you have spent time money you know it, whatever it is with if you've done that with with traders uh that you follow and you look up to and you again you've invested a lot of time in um if you have the question ask them to show their results if they can do it they can pass this challenge that would be awesome also just to clarify if somebody can't pass this challenge does it make them immediately a fraud or a fake or their content is worthless? The answer is no. Um, I think that if somebody is, you know, what I've asked here is very hard to do. Like passing, like beating the S&P 500, you know, some traders, you know, um, like Reddit, Twitter, you know, angry keyboard warriors will say that, oh, beating the S&P is easy. But when it comes time to pull up your track record and show it on camera, you will see not many, many people will want to do this. It's really hard to beat the market and to beat the market again, takes so much work. Um, and again, that's just making like 10% plus each year or more. That's very difficult to do, even though traders will dispute that endlessly. Again, the, the results, uh, to my challenge request will prove themselves. There's just not that many people who can do it. It is possible, but it is reserved for people who are of the highest caliber. And so I want to recognize those people. That's the purpose behind this. I look forward to hopefully giving some money away. And thank you guys for watching.